Hello, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to your new English lesson. Veoma interesantna, a very interesting one, I would say, zato što ima baš dobrih izraza i baš dobrih glagola koje bih želila da naučite, dakle, konverzacijske rečenice za usvajanje i obnavljanje vokabulara i gramatike. Pre nego što krenemo sa lekcijom, samo jedno poveštenje da, ako želite da učite sa mnom, imate individualne časove sa mnom na Skype-u, onda mi možete pisati na e-mail novametoda gmail.com i također da su u prodaju moje elektronske knjige, kako za engleske, tako i za nemačke, ako ste možda zainteresovani, dakle knjige sa mnoštvo korisnog materijala, konverzacijskih rečenica i vežbi. Knjige možete kupiti na sajtu Gumroad, link se nalazi u opisu ispod videa ili mi pišite na e-mail novametoda gmail.com ako vas interesuju još neke informacije. A sad krećemo za lekciju. Ok, so let's start with I was bored. I was bored, so I wandered around the town. I was bored, so I wandered around the town. Što znači I was bored? Bilo mi je dosadno. So, what did I do? Šta sam radio? I wandered around the town. To wander with an A is a verb that means to roam or to move around with no direction. To roam, to move around with no direction, znači lutati. A wander with an O is a verb that means to marvel ili to think about curiously. I predpostavljam da se mnogo češće ne lazi na ovaj wonder. Kad kažemo, I wonder what he's doing now. Pitam se. I think about it curiously. Razmišljam o tome. Pitam se. I'm very curious. I wonder where he is now. I wonder what he's doing now. To je taj wonder. Ali ovdje je sa A. So, I was bored. Bilo mi je dosadno. Pa sam lutao gradom. I wandered around the town. Okay, so to wander. Broj dva. I'm used to getting up early. Znači, mislim da mi je osnovni primer kada nekom hoću da objasnim izraz to be used to plus blago sa inoga. I am used to You are used to. He is used to. She is used to. Znači, u ovom prvom delu menjamo samo glagol to be. Menjamo ga kroz lica. I am used to. Mogu da stavim u prošlom nema. I was used to. He was used to. They were used to. I tako dalje. Mogu stavim u budućem vreme. I will be used to. I tako dalje. I na to na šta sam naviknut ili sam se navikao ili ću se navići, taj glagol ide saying. Dakle, u ovom slučaju imamo ja sam naviknut na ustajanje rano, bukvalno. Znači, I'm used to getting up early. I'm used to studying. I'm used to working. I'm used to sleeping a lot. I'm used to cooking. I'm used to running, jogging, whatever. Ili mogu napim negativnu rečenicu, pa kažem, I'm not used to doing this. I'm not used to doing this. I'm not used to cooking. I'm not used to running. I'm not used to getting up early. To je sigurno for me. I'm not used to getting up early. Kako pitam, are you used to? Are you used to getting up early? Are you used to living here? Are you used to drinking coffee? Whatever. Okay? Znači, I am... He is, she is, we are, you are, they are, used to, plus neki glav. E sad još jedan detalj što se tiče ovog used to. Jeste da postoji recimo nešto ovako. I used to. I plus glagol je u infinitivu ovde. I used to. Šta onda to znači? To znači ja sam nekada pušio, više ne pušio. Dakle, to je glagol used to. Nije to be used to doing something, nego used to plus infinitiv. Često se menšio. Dakle, morate da ih vežbate. A used to 
koristim kada kažem da se u prošlosti nešto dešavalo i više se ne dešava. He used to live here. He doesn't live here anymore. I used to smoke. I don't smoke anymore. Uh, he used to study English. He doesn't study English anymore. Okay. Understand? Ajde, mali test. Prevedite mi sljedeće dvije rečenice. Dakle, on je navikao da radi mnogo i stalno radi mnogo ili on je nekad radio mnogo više ne radi. On je naviknut. He is used to working hard. He is used to working hard. A nekad je radio mnogo, ali više i ne baš. He used to work hard but now he is lazy he used to work hard but now he is lazy okay okay uh, number three she was mad and suspicious she was mad and suspicious mad are you mad is you lud mad you lud mad max povesami max on film ali Uh, mad može značiti i uh, really, really angry. Angry. So she was mad, she was angry, she was furious as well. Besna. Furious, mad, angry. Znači sve je to bila. I plus je bila suspicious. Sumničav. Znači on kaže I can't come to work because I'm sick. So first she was mad. Ljuta je bila, jer on ne dolazi na poslo. But she was suspicious as well. Sumnjičava. Ima na pesma Suspicious Minds. Ok. Suspicion je sumnja. Suspicious je pridev su onaj koji sumnja. Ok. Number four. Where were you at this time yesterday? Ovo zvuči kao u policiji. U policijskoj stanici neko da vas pita. Where were you? Ili kažu, gdje si bio oko pet? Yesterday. Where were you at this time yesterday? Ili where were you at uh, at around um, an ish? Dodate na, na, na broj ish. Pa kažeš oko. Oko deset. An ish. Okay. Where were you at this time yesterday? Znači gdje si bio u ovo vreme juče. Inače, ovo ovako ko se pročitam je laka rečenica, međutim ovo je bila rečenica na kojoj smo mi testirali džake kad su se upisivali u školu da bi se odredili koji je nivo. Jer gde si, gde si bio, a gde živiš, gde si živeo. Znači koja je razlika. Tako da većina kad čuje gde si živeo, where did you live, ok, i onda kad kaže gde si bio, where did you be. Znači ovo ne postoji. Ali je vrlo, vrlo se često, da kažem, čuje. Um, jer je logično kao where did you eat, where did you sleep, where did you go, where did you bilo šta. Where did you buy, where did you drink, where did you... Ali kad je glagol biti u pitanju, onda nam ne treba did. Nego samo taj glagol biti u prošlosti, drugo lice u bar. Znači, where were you at this time yesterday? Gde si bio ovo vreme još? Ako bih htjela da pitam šta si radio at this time yesterday? Koristili bismo past continuous tense i rekli bismo what were you doing at this time yesterday. What were you doing at this time yesterday? Postoji varijanta da pišem pa da pitamo what did you do? To bi značilo šta si uradio juče u četiri šta si uradio. Ali šta si radio? Radio. Nestrušeni glagol. To je what were you doing at this time yesterday? I was sleeping, I was studying, I was walking, I was working. Bibio. Ok. Used cars tend to break down more often. Tend to break down more 
often. Znači, znači korišćeni auti. Second hand cars. Polovni auti tend to, imaju tu tendenciju da break down se pokvare more often češće. Znači, tend to. They tend to break down more often. Ok, znači imaju tu tendenciju. I'm not allowed to disclose sensitive information. I'm not allowed to disclose sensitive information. Znači, I'm not allowed, it means nije mi dozvoljeno, to disclose, to da otkrijem sensitive information, ta neke osetljive informacije. Dakle, to disclose something, klago, to make something like secret or some new information known. Znači, napraviti da bude poznata. For example, they disclosed her name to the press. Znači, otkrili su njeno ime novinarima. They disclosed her name. So, it was a secret. It was something that they didn't know. It was a new, new information. And they, they disclosed it. They made it known. Napravi su da se zna. To disclose. Znači, pošto close, close kao zatvoriti, ovaj, ovaj, bukvalno, suprotno od ono, zatvoriš vrata da se nešto ne zna, ovo je kao da otvoriš vrata i napraviš da nešto bude poznato. They disclose sensitive information. Ok, but I'm not allowed to do that. So, I'm not allowed to, znači nije mi dozvoljen. It's forbidden, zabranjeno. Objašnjavamo reč loose and saying if something is loose, it's not fixed firmly. I ono što stavno kažem, znači da ne pomešamo to loose sa loose. To lose, it means... Kao loser, what's a loser, znači gubitnik. Znači to lose je izgubiti. Lose, a ovdje ima dva. Lose je znači nešto što nije fiksirano. Not firmly, not tightly fixed in place. Detached or able to be detached. Znači ili je odvojeno ili može da se odvoji. Pa kad se clean love zub, clean love je a lose tooth. A lose tooth. Ili... Not fitting tightly or closely, znači kad nije usko i ustelo. She slipped into a loose t-shirt, znači u neku široku majicu. Oversized. That's loose. Number eight. Maybe you can't do your job as well as you used to. Evo ga used to. Znači maybe you can't do your job now as well as you used to. Znači, možda sad ne možeš da odradiš taj svoj posao kao što si nekada mogao. Used to. Nekada. Sada ne. He used to eat out every day, but now he can't afford it. He used to eat out every day. To eat out in restaurants. But now he can't afford it. Znači, nekada je stano jeo po restoranima, ali sada ne može da to sebi afford. Priušti. Kad je nešto affordable. Znači, Cheap, može, mislim, može da se priušti. Znači, I can't afford it. Ne mogu to sebi da priuštim. He can't afford it. He used to eat out every day, but now he has to cook at home. Or in a cooler. She didn't say anything more about it. She didn't say anything more about it. Nije ništa više reka o tome. Happiness consists in being satisfied with what you have. Happiness consists in being satisfied with what you have. Znači, happiness, sreća se sastoji u tome da si si zadovoljan sa onim što imaš. Znači, consist in, sastojati se od, mi kažemo, znači, consist in i pošto je in jedan. Jedna kratka reći je vam predlog, ako stavljamo glagol, iza vam mora da ide sa ink. Znači uvek iza predloga u engleskom glagolima ink. Oblik. It consists in doing, it consists in going, it consists in being satisfied with what you have.
what does it consist in? What does happiness consist in? Happiness consists in being satisfied with what you have. I have to confess that I wasn't really sick yesterday. I just didn't want to come to work. I just didn't feel like coming to work. So, Madame de Prism, confess. I have to confess that I wasn't really sick yesterday. I just didn't want to come to work. I just didn't feel like coming to work. Moram da priznam da nisam zapravo bio bolestan juče, nego jednostavno nisam žela da dođem na posao. Nije mi se dolazilo na posao. I didn't feel like coming to work. She doesn't know what she's saying. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's saying. Ne slušajte, ne zna šta priča. She doesn't know what she's saying. If he says he will do something, he always does. Ako on kaže da će nešto uraditi, on to uvek uradi. Ovo je nulti kondicional. If plus present simple. If he says he will do something, u drugom delu present simple, he always does it. And number 15, will he come here again next week? Znači, pitanje se o will koji se odnosi na budućnost, znači, pitamo za nešto što možda nije isplanirano. So, will he come here again next week? Has he already decided? Je li već odlučio? Drugi način da pitamo je Is he coming here again next week? Znači, is he coming here again next week? Da li je planirao da dođe? Is he coming here again next week? Will he come here again next week? On je sad došao i mi pitamo da li će doći i sljedeće nedelje. Znači, isplanirano, present continuous u ovoj situaciji, neisplanirano ili odluka donešena u trenutku govora je se obel. Ok? Ok. Now we will just read the sentences as usual. You should repeat after me if you want to. Number one, I was bored, so I wandered around the town. I'm used to getting up early. She was mad and suspicious. Where were you at this time yesterday? Used cars tend to break down more often. I'm not allowed to disclose sensitive information. If something is loose, it's not fixed firmly. Maybe you can do your job as well as you used to. He used to eat out every day, but now he can't afford it. She didn't say anything more about it. Happiness consists in being satisfied with what you have. I have to confess that I wasn't really sick yesterday. I just didn't want to come to work. I didn't feel like coming to work. She doesn't know what she's saying. If he says he will do something, he always does it. Will he come here again next week? Or is he coming here again next week? And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.